Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, and much peace and mercy to the hopeful elect. So this is just going to be a quick exhortation video, and I just wanted to, uh, you know, speak to the brethren constantly endure. Right, that's the precept that uh, popped up in my head when I thought of a precept to exhort the brethren with, and it's constantly endure. Uh, Sirach, I'm going to just start at the top. Sirach 2 and 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So we're in this uh, flesh. We're in this society, captivity. There's going to be a lot of things that tempt you. There's going to be a lot of things that urge you to do uh, wickedness. And we have to uh, sustain from those things. We have to sustain from the lust of the flesh. And certain thoughts we have. We have to... Uh, rebuke ourselves a lot of the times scriptures say examine yourselves whether you be in the faith it says set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of troubles you have to constantly endure it's not oh you know i got over that hump that that one hurdle i'm good now it's so many hurdles in this in this walk and you're gonna have to keep jumping you're gonna have to keep going over sometimes you're gonna stumble you might you might bump into a hurdle but but guess what you got to get back up the scriptures say a righteous man fall it seven times and get back up again you got to get back up and keep enduring continue to endure continue to strive for the mastery continue to strive to be uh closer to yahweh bashim yahweh shai that we may receive that salvation you want that salvation you want that deliverance you want to be protected in uh in in the day of jacob's trouble because a lot of these people are going to die man you, you have people around you right now that's going to die a lot. The scriptures say that uh, a thousand at thy left, <laughs> you know, and uh, um, 10,000 at thy right, roughly paraphrasing. But there's going to be thousands of, of bodies laying on the ground because why they, they they have walked in great pride. Especially two thirds of Israel, they they won't repent. So what? The Heavenly Father is going to bring judgment on this earth. So we have to endure now. We have to endure the now. And then we're going to have to endure the latter end. Right? You can't fold when, when you start seeing people die. You can't fold when, when, when you ain't ate in two days. And you think, oh man, is the Lord really dealing with me? That's doubt. Of course the Lord dealing with me. He just want me to fast right now. That's how you have to go about it. You have to understand that everything happens for a reason. Everything. Whatever's going on in your life, it's happening for a reason. Because you have to understand, Esau knows us. He knows what Jake wants. He knows what Jake likes. He knows how to uh, stir up emotions. So, your temptation could be uh, uh, finances, right? He, Esau could be like, well, if you take this, this Jabberwocky, or if you take if you take this juice, then we'll you know we'll give you a, a, a two years rent free or you know whatever, or you might say you you get, uh, <laughs> you, he's going to entice you, man. He's going to tempt you into to wanting to fold and, and and worship his image, or or your trouble might be a woman. You might throw a, a fine, uh, whatever preference you like whatever heathen woman or you know might even be a, a israelite woman he might throw that woman at you big booty boobies right pretty face and he's like oh yeah she she wants to be with you but she can't be with you because you ain't you ain't got vanessa you right so you want to make sure that you understand that everything that's going on is happening for a reason stay safe Stay, because uh, you, if you, uh, you know, you're out and about, you're you're doing, trying to, uh, cause uh, the, I forgot who said it. Who said that? So I think it was ISBK. It was like you gotta live your life. You over, you waiting for your Howard Shy. You gotta live life. <laughs> and we know this is not a life to live. We know that this is not our rest. So it says, set thy heart aright. And setting your heart aright is 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 
trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Having that oil. And constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. So there's going to be a time of trouble. You're going to be afflicted. You're going to go through some adversity. But make not haste. Haste meaning don't be quick. Don't be uh, um, like trying to, oh, what, what, damn, what do I got to do? What? Like, no, you sit there, you you think about it. Damn, what's going on? Am I? Did I go off? Did I piss the Lord off? So you start to analyze. That's examining yourself. It says, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. So the whole goal is for your betterment that, that you may be increased at the latter end. That's the point. That's why the scriptures say, what? If you go down, uh, verse five, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. There's a saying in the world uh, strong men build societies or something like that. And then society, it, it, I can't give you the whole quote, but basically societies end up creating weak men and, and, oh, uh, bad times create strong men, strong men create good times and good times create weak men. You see? So, and, and that's like, that's still like kind of paraphrasing the whole saying, um, but when you constantly go through hard times, it's, it, it, it makes you stronger. It makes you stronger. It, it makes you uh, uh, easier to adapt to certain situations. So the Heavenly Father is, 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 is molding you. He's building you up. So when the time really gets hard, when you can't just walk into a store and buy your favorite meal or go to the store and buy a new outfit... You can't just uh, um, go to the mall and just lounge around. There's going to be times where you won't be able to just sit back and drink and, and just, you know, have a good time. So we're entering into those stages. You have to understand this man already just announced a new so-called uh, variation. The Decepticon. So this thing is, is, is happening and it's not going to stop. He's going to, uh, I was reading an article and it said that basically this new, um, <laughs> this Decepticon, all the previous Jabberwockies is, 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 um, basically useless. It has none effect on, on, on this new, on this new, uh, 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 organism. So what does that mean? Now they're going to come up with a new uh, Vanessa 2.0. Now, now they want you to deal with her. Now they want you to get uh, uh, Boost Mobile. So this thing is happening and it's happening fast. It might not seem like it's happening fast because we're anxious. We, we, you know, we want the prophecies to come to pass. We want to see, see, see what's, what's going to happen next. But the, what's happening next is, is already happening. This man is making his move. <laughs> He's a, he like the uh, apostle um, or, or the elder brother Yashawamba always says this man is on the ropes, leaning, trying to weave, but he keeps getting jabbed. He keeps getting hooked, body shots, big body blows too. So there's going to be a time where he he's just going to just start to swing, <laughs> exert all his energy. He's going to swing f f for the for the fences, man. And 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 guess what? He's going to end up knocking himself out. And that, that knockout is going to ultimately be the, the thermonuclear destruction. Those missiles. The scriptures say that I have created the the, the, um, the smith that blow up the coals. So Yahweh Shimei Shah is going to, to make this man destroy himself. So in the meantime, we have to, we have to wait. We have to be patient. Verse 6, it says, believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. So trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord and, and believe that he is going to, to deliver us. He's going to deliver his elect. I pray. I pray that you brothers be a part of that number. I pray that I'm a part of that number. And I and I and hey, I want to I want to I want to be a part of that first resurrection. I want to see the kingdom being established, being built. You can uh, uh watch the different 
stones and, and, and you know, etc. That's going to be a beautiful day. A beautiful time. Like none other. The beginning of Jacob. So, hey, endure. Constantly endure. Always remember that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh brought you into this truth for a reason. He said, I have chosen you and ordained you. So, hey, make your calling and election sure. Lord willing, this is edifying and exhorting. Giving all praises once again to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.